Blender 2.79 was recently released and a couple of things are different. I got a couple comments asking me how to navigate the new GUI. Um, so first thing you're gonna, you're gonna see is that all of my customization settings are gone. Of course, if you uh, if you notice the small things, the color's gone, the uh, the shadow is back. So we can always fix that stuff back uh, back up. But the first thing we're gonna do, the biggest difference in Blender 2.79 is the render settings over here. So if we drag this panel open, you'll be able to tell that a couple of this stuff is different, uh, but you won't see anything right away. The thing that's different is down here on PNG. If you click this open. You'll be able to tell we have a lot less, or it looks as if we have a lot less uh, rendering options over here. Uh, we had a lot more video uh, and movie outputs that we could render to before, but now they're all gone. The reason for this is because Blender's kind of done a bit of customization and organization, so they have a bit more categories now. The first thing uh, you're going to want to really play with is you can, of course, go AVI Raw. I don't, I don't recommend that, um, but what we're going to do is we're going to go FFMPEG video right here. The most versatile way uh, to output video files, of course. So we're going to we're going to click that, and as you can tell, we have this encoding option down here. So if we go AVI raw, that encoding op option goes away. Um, so we don't we we need the encoding option. So we're going to go FFMPEG video, and we're going to downsize this encoding. Now down here is a lot of new stuff. As you can tell, it looks much different than it, than it did before. All right. So this uh, this container pretty much is just the extension. Uh, MP4, uh, you know, AVI, OGG, you know, and, and keep going all through all of those. So uh, the recommended settings that I'm going to say, <laughs> uh, if you're doing a regular render, is going to go uh, MP4, of course. And then uh, codec, you're going to leave that on H.264 because uh, because that's, that's the best uh, out of all of these four just a regular render setting. And then we have this new output quality and coding speed uh, setting down here. So output quality, of course, that's going to be the constant rate factor, which is the quality of the video. Um, and this is, this is new to Blender since we had sampling before. Um, so this is going to this is going to matter as well uh, as the sampling. So the best the best quality, of course, is uh, is lossless. Um, and of course, the lowest is lowest, <laughs> very low, and then low, medium, high, perceptually, and then of course, uh, lossless. So we're going to go lossless because lossless is great. Encoding speed, of course, we're gonna want. It. We might want to do super fast, but you're gonna want to play around with this because, it could, as you can tell, uh, the slower it encodes, the the smaller the file will be. The faster it encodes, the bigger the file will be. Um, pretty much just just saying how 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 long or how short the the uh, compression of the video is gonna take. So it's it's at, like if you're if you're familiar with recording a video, uh, recording your desktop or something like that. Uh, the higher or the lower you have the encoding speed, the longer it will take the process so you can save the video. Pretty much that's what that is. Um, so, so of course, you're going to want to find a, a nice medium in here, which is why it's already set to medium. Um, usually, I'm going to go something around fast or, or super fast or something like that. Um, I don't recommend going ultra fast, but super fast is usually pretty good, so I'm going to go with that. And then, uh, and now that's that's how we can do it right there. Of course, you set your output to wherever you want this to render to. But that is that's pretty much that. And this is really the only big thing that I noticed um, that Blender had changed. I did a quick once over of all of the all of the tabs, all the everything, um, and I didn't really see anything that was too big. So I wanted to cover that because it was a pretty big change. Um, but of course, if you have any other problems, let me know down in the comment section. I'll, I will definitely help you out. Um, but I, like I said, I didn't see anything that was too huge. Um, other than other than those settings, uh, let me quick once over all of the the things over here. Maybe the node editor is a bit different. Hmm, looks pretty looks pretty straightforward to me. But like I said, if you come across anything that you need help with, just let me know down in the comment section. I'd be more than happy happy to help you out. Uh, and really quickly, um, a way to do uh, uh, transparent video, transparent background. Um, we would of course we would go and we would stick with F FMPG video. Container would be QuickTime. Kodak would be FFMPEG video Kodak number one, and the encoding speed would of course be the same or whatever you had it as before. And now we have this new option of RGBA, which the, out, the A means alpha, by the way. That's how that means it is transparent. RG, R, RGB means red, green, blue. BW means black and white, which means it has no color. And RGBA means red, green, blue, alpha, which pretty much means you're going to have your transparent background like you needed. So if we render this, run it up here. You'll be able to. Oh, that's because we need to down here 
in the performance. No, not performance. Which one was it? It was. Uh, we need to turn on uh, transparency right there. So alpha mode transparent, and now we can hit render image, and that's good. So if we go over, if we go over to cycles mode, you're gonna have to hit this little box transparent, and then you can render in transparency and cycles render. So that's that right there. Uh, there's not not too much different on the surface. We have this world space shading mode right here. That's a little different. But like I said, if you have any questions, if I um, if I don't see anything, or if you come across something that's different you need help with, just let me know down in the comment section. I'd be more than happy to help you out. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Um, but until then, 